a YouTube channel by the tutorials. My name is Sinwas. In this video, I am going to discuss about a recursive function program in Python. The recursive function program is program is sum of list elements. Sum of list elements using recursive function using recursive function to find the to find the sum of list elements to find the sum of list elements using recursive function for example it is a list one list that is equal to x or m or y or k any list k equal to one small list list equal to these are the elements for example 11 22 33 and 44 these are the elements to find the sum of these elements to find the sum of these elements 11 plus 22 plus 33 plus 44 this is a list a equal to 11 22 33 44 is a list of elements to find the sum of all these list of elements using using recursive functions plus 11 plus 22 plus 33 plus 44 as a result equal to 110 to find the list of elements using sum of elements sum of list elements using there are number of ways one way is using some inbuilt function one way is using while loop one way is using for loop one way is normal function and another way is very important is to find the recursive function using using functions with recursion concept with recursion concept this is a list now we are write a recursive function so first of all first to define one list k equal to 11 22 33 and 44 put it clear here sum equal to, here the sum equal to sum equal to sum list sum list sum list sum is a function name of k we are we are we are decided we are de defined one function function name is list sum this is a user defined function it is not a built-in function you are writing a user defined function this function name is a list function it takes the one argument the argument is k this function returns one value the value equal the value assigned to sum here here print the value sum of sum of list elements equal to the sum value here yeah, this value is finding in in using recursive function now we are writing pf function name is list sum of where function name is x well, if if length of x length of x equal to equal to zero the length of x equal to zero return the value return the value zero length of x equal to zero return the value zero otherwise else else return of return x of zero value plus plus again call the list sum this is some calling internally x one colon colon using 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 slicing operator using slicing operator this part this sum this uh, x list sending starting value one ending value the end of the list every time is increasing by one one clear guys up to here now run the module now they run the module this is the value this is the program run this program the result sum of list element equal to one one zero how to uh, find the result using recursive function i will explain in this uh, session using some parameter here the k is a list here this is a k the k is a list element it is stored the value 11 22 33 and 44 these are the elements these are the elements one element is zero eighth location first location second location and third location clear up here guys and the next one so this is first statement is complete and the second statement list sum function is calling okay with the k argument immediately the control is transferred to list sum function okay clear now the k value is assigned to x now here the x values is here the x value is 11 22 33 and 44 these are the x values okay clear so now this value is 0 1 2 and 3 and 3 now if if length of x equal to equal to 0 what is the length of the x now the length of x equal to 4 the length of the x is 4 4 equal to equal to 0 this condition returns a false this condition returns a false and then immediately the control is transferred to else black to x for else black return x of 0 now this is x of 0 here the x of 0 value is 11 plus 11 plus list some function calling itself which takes the argument x of 1 to n here the x of 1 is x of 1 value is 22 2 up to n value 22 33 and 44 these values are sent to the list function here here 
the x value here. Next time calling the x value is 22, 33, and 44. Clear, guys? Now this is a x. This is the only zero. At location, first location and second. Second time calling, x of one value, starting value is one. So now the 22, 33, and 44. Here this is x. If length of x equal to equal to zero, the length of x is one, two, three. Now the length of x equal to three. Three equal to equal to zero. This condition returns false. Immediately execute this plan. Here x of zero value. Now the x of zero value is 22. 22 plus plus. Now to call the list sum function x of one to n. X of one is 33 to n. Now the x value is 33 and 44. This is a x value. Now here the list function immediately calling to here. Now the x value is 33 and 44, 0 and 1 notice. If length of x equal to equal to 0. Now the length of x equal to equal to length of x 2, 2 equal to equal to 0, the condition returns false. Okay, now immediately the control is transferred to the else block. Else block is x of 0. x of 0 is 33 plus 33 plus list to sum of x of 1. Now the x of 1 is 44. Now the 44 is sent to the x. Now this is the latest x value is only 42, 44, the index number is 0. Okay, if length of x equal to equal to 0, length of x is 1, equal to equal to 0, this condition returns false, immediately execute the else block. Now go to the else block, x of 0, x of 0 value is 44, okay, plus list to sum of x of 1. x of 1 is no list, here there's a, no, the number of elements are not present in the list again, only the list is empty list, here we are sending the empty list empty list the list is empty without element the list is empty list here length of x length of x is empty list now the zero equal to equal to zero the length of x equal to zero zero equal to zero the condition returns true then execute this statement return of zero plus return of zero to stop the iteration up to up to the length of x value equal to one up to x length of x value equal to one to iterate the loop recursive function whenever you are the x value becomes zero the x becomes zero that means the empty list the length of x equal to automatically zero to stop the iteration after stopping iteration perform the addition operation right to left zero plus 44 44 plus 33 77 77 plus 22 99 99 plus 11 110 the final value is 110 this function returns 110 value now here the sum value automatically 110. And the next statement is after function calling statement is sum of list element equal to print the sum value. Here the sum value is 110. Okay, guys, are clear, clear all of you? Clear or not? This program to run a to find a find the sum of list elements using recursive function. You can enter any any number of elements. You can enter any number of elements. Or you enter the elements from the keyboard at runtime also it is possible. It is possible at runtime also. It is possible at runtime also. Using evaluate function. Evaluate of input of enter enter the list element. Enter the list elements at runtime. At runtime. List elements. Right here. At run, at runtime. At only starting time. Enter the list elements. Square bracket. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are the list of elements. These are the list elements. Finally, list of some of these elements. Sum of list elements is equal to values. Enter the list elements at runtime also is it possible. For example, find the enter the list elements. List elements are bracket, okay, 100, 100, 300, 400, and 500. And enter to find the sum of list elements in 300. Find the sum of list elements in different ways. One way is using built-in function. One way is using for loop. One way is using while loop. One way is using normal function. One way is using recursive function. It is a simple and easiest and the compact way to find the value of the sum of list elements. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you very much.